That is no bird nor an airplane. That right there is a flying wizard. <laughs> I got stuck up in the beacon here and it's super high up and I'm super scared. So we're just gonna do the intro right here. Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting and we're high above <laughs> the Hermitcraft Season 7 shopping area where we're gonna be opening our very first shop and I cannot be more excited. I, 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 I really just need a way down and <laughs> hello, anyone there? I, I need some help. <laughs> Gub, Joe, anyone? Here's me thinking, wow, the Hermitcraft Season 7 Shopping District built on a mushroom island, a place where it is as scar safe as can be. Now, I hurt myself the second I land here. <laughs> I literally almost died by hitting the beacon there at zero zero. But the plus side is I don't have to light up my shops here. Won't get any angry comments from my customers being chased off by mobs. <laughs> But you might be wondering, Scott, why is there a giant pile of diamonds here? And that is there because the hermits have to pay for the land that their shops occupy in season seven. So we will be paying 100 blocks for every 100 diamonds. Wait, no, I just dyslexia that completely. Let me try that again. For every 100 blocks that we use for our shop, we have to pay one diamond block for. So for instance, Doc paid one diamond block for this chunk of land that is... 100 blocks in total. So I think my shop will be well over 100 blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our shop first, measure out how big it is and how much we owe after it is built, mainly because I'm, I'm still I'm still very poor. <laughs> to get the diamonds needed for this shop, we are going to have to re-enter the diamond challenge mine and see how many diamonds we can pull out in one hour to pay for this shop. And of course, this shop is gonna be operated under Operation Aqua Thunder. And if you don't know what Operation Aqua Thunder is, it is make diamonds and die less. Both those go hand in hand. The more diamonds I make, the better gear, the better enchantments that I have to die less. Because we're up to, oh, the scoreboard changed. Good, I don't even have to tell you how many deaths I have <laughs> because it's very embarrassing. But anyway, the shop that we're gonna build is right here and it is going to be the chess monster shop. This shop will sell barrels, chests and shulkers and even disorganization services. It is gonna be quite fantastic. But before we do that, we must return to the Fantasy Lagoon because we got a couple things to do before we build this. Also. We need to gather resources. Nothing worse than coming home after a long day and finding your door has been stolen again. <laughs> he stole my door again. <laughs> oh, what are we going to do? I also um, broke my Kaguma. Don't don't tell Mumbo. I, I'm going to try to fix this, but I also am going to rename this. Keep Grian out of my doors. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Keep Kaguma? could do i don't know you're gonna have to let me know in the comments but we have our giant door selection there that we replace every time he steals it i literally think he's got like 30 of my doors at this point speaking of green i actually have a present for him so i put together a little book here hey g-man thank you for saving me the other day here's an invitation to the diamond challenge mine you can use the right tunnel for branch mining beacon mining area coming soon also, here is a flight box. So we're gonna fill one of these flight boxes full of rockets from the creeper farm that we built in our last episode. So we can either choose fly me to the moon or come fly with me. So let's go grab some gunpowder and fill that box up. The farm works great, but it looks atrocious. We need to make this look so much better from above. Down below here, I have been doing a bit of AFKing for the last few days, and we've got a massive reserve now of gunpowder. And I think there's even a chest. Yes, there's another chest and a half there. This is still spawning spiders here. And I think we're going to fix that over the weekend on stream. And you can see that we have plenty of string at this point. So I think we can finally shut off the ability for spiders to spawn there. Ooh, Tango Cam. Look at Tango Cam making all the achievements today. Seriously, Mojang, I love you. But where in the world is a firework recipe for the recipe book. I think I'm gonna give Grian 
fly me to the moon because come fly with me didn't fill all the way up. I ran out of paper. Flight box ready to go. And of course, we'll put our book on top. So I hope you can make use of the mine and soon the giant beacon mine that will be attached to it. And the uh, the shulker box here for a flight box because everyone needs a good flight box. Back here at Larry the Snail, I want to show you how many shulker boxes we have since our last episode. <laughs> that is three stacks of shulker shells and then, you know, 11 over here for personal use. But that is still not enough for what we want to do. I'm going back to the end. I had to come back because I realized I did not have feather falling and a few other enchantments that will make our trip to the end more successful. This is one of the reasons why I don't have any diamonds. I spend them all here at Corralis's book barn. After our quick detour to the shopping district for some additional enchantments, we are now ready to go and I'm not taking any chances. Unlike that wither fight, we've got ourselves our lucky magical crystal along with our health boost crystal all on our side for a successful trip to the end. Goal, three stacks of shulker shells. back from the end and that was over two days of gathering shells and i gotta say operation uncle thunder is a roaring success and we may not be poor anymore with the amount of shulker boxes that we retrieved from the end and i think we have finally achieved the amount that we will need to open this shop which is absolutely amazing we also got wizard's fruit and I'm super excited about the wizard's fruit. <laughs> We're gonna sell these with the crystals. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I am. Walking back up the ladder here, let's see what else we got. We have armor for days. We have tools and weapons. And of course, an insane amount of elytras, which honestly, when I'm doing big builds, I could go through all of those elytras in one mega build. So I'm glad I have those. We might give one the green so he has a backup because I lost his and I gave him my backup. Now he only has one. So, I mean, we could share, of course. And we got a bunch of heads down here. We got end rods. I can't be more happy with this. Like seriously, this is, oh, we got diamonds too. But I mean, come on. <laughs> the wizard's fruit's amazing. Ah, wizard fruit. <laughs> it's so delightful. Anyway, we're here in the shopping district to start working on our shop. Now, during my teleportation, I realized that uh, I don't have the resources yet to make this shop. We're going to have to go get those. But before we do that, I want to sign up for some of the new games that we have here. And one is Zombies Head Hunting Game and the other tag Electric Boogaloo or something along those lines. We need to sign up for both of them. The first game I want to sign up for is Zombie Cleo's Head Hunting Game. And wait a second. Who is that handsome wizard back there? <laughs> the objective of this game is to collect the hermit's heads. So take, for instance, are these all Corallus? Oh my gosh, they're all him. The man has already won. But anyway, I still want to sign up for this. And uh, so the idea is this is a totem. So for Doc, so Doc's heads are across here. When Corallus puts that up there, that's 10 points. And then the points get lower as it goes down, right? And once it ends up in the barrel, it's only worth one point. So, hmm, is it worth it? Classic Grian. <laughs> He's got a stockpile of my heads back at his base. He didn't stockpile toilet paper. No, he stockpiled my head. Oh, this is a loophole. We have like five or six dragon heads back at Larry the Snail. We could potentially like get second place at this point with all the dragon heads. You never anticipated the power of the wizard fruit. I have been searching all over the shopping district for the Tag 2 Boogaloo sign-up board here. <laughs> and I can't find it, and I'm running out of wizard's fruit at this point. Uh-oh, what have I done? 
Definitely not down here. <laughs> Same place. Still no tag. Not down underground either. Welcome to Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo. I use the full name. The aim of the game is to hold the tag for as many in-game hours as possible. One hour, one point on the tab. So as you can see up in the tab list, nobody has it yet because they haven't held it on for more than an hour yet. So first to 50. So once somebody has it for 50 full hours, they win the game. And yeah, I think that's really cool. Paid up and ready to play. Back here at Larry because, well, I forgot to gather the material for the shop. So we need oak wood and terracotta and a whole lot of it. Oh, also a bunch of random pieces of concrete. A lot of them too. We have a tough challenge ahead of ourselves. What, what in tarnation? This is going, he's a pigman, what is he doing? <laughs> Get him, he's going for my head. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's putting his pants on. Oh no, 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 he's coming after me, he's too good. He's too powerful, it's all over. <laughs> He caught my head, GG. Our first engagement in the head hunt has resulted in a failure. Look at Iskull, he's a good guy. He's putting all my things in here. Good guy, important guy, Iskull is. <laughs> a whole lot of grinding later, we've got all the materials ready to go for the chest monster shop. And let's take a look at this. So we've got the interior of the chest materials. We've got the structure of the chest and so on. Ooh, some mouth materials. And of course, the structure, I guess. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, now that we have everything, let's head to the shopping district and start building. Spent a bit of time here in the shopping district looking for the perfect place to build. Now, originally I'd said behind this hill here, we would build it, but I really just want to buy out all of this land at some point, parcel it off into plots and sell it back to the hermits. <laughs> I think that's a really good business decision, by the way, but we also do not have any diamonds to do that. So we need to hit Operation Uncle Thunder into full gear and build the chest monster shop. So we're going to nestle it right in between this pathway and I think it'll be absolutely perfect. It's right near the other shops and I think it'll be very visible to the other hermits. I might actually face it this direction. Hmm, that's a good question. I wonder how I should face it. I don't know. We can figure that later. But first thing we need to do is we need to flatten the land and get started. Prepared the area for our build and I changed my mind. We're going somewhere else. And that somewhere else is right here and we're gonna build our shop on top of this hill. Now there's two reasons for this. One, it is in good vantage point of the other shops down below. And that's good for hermits to see it so that it will get more traffic. If it's kind of tucked away in the corner, some people might miss it. And well, that's bad for business. Other reason, the main reason is the fact that we own the Y access. So that gives us unrestricted ability to put another shop below our chest monster shop. So we get two for one with that land. And now that is some true Aqua Thunder thinking. And I am super, super excited about this.
didn't give super fast build mode and we've got ourselves the chess monster. That is right. The chess monster has finally come to life and I'm super happy with this. There was a design I originally was going to do in season six for something similar, but I'm so glad I didn't because it's not as fun without jelly inside of it and some other fun details. So yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I think we coined the term chess monster back in season five when we were just completely disorganized with shulker boxes and yeah, it's kind of fun to embrace it. And we already have ourselves a customer. He's a little unsure about going inside and I don't blame you, my friend. It is a chess monster after all. And yep, he has no interest. It's moving on <laughs> anyway. So let's pop inside here. And originally I'd said I wanted to sell, you know, barrels, chests, trap chests and shulkers inside of boxes that you, you know, you open up, you take what you want and you pay for it, you know, a traditional shop. Um, but instead I'm gonna try something a little bit different and I'm gonna fill the entire shop with shulker boxes placed on the ground and the hermits have to come in here to defeat the chess monster. That's right. Hashtag defeat the chess monster and share that with your um, your uh, hermits, your favorite hermits out there, because I think that'd be really funny. We can do a little marketing together. We're back here at old Larry the Snail crafting up some chess and boy, do we need a whole, whole lot of them. But, you know, we're starting to get there now. I almost made a gigantic mistake and that was to construct the shulker boxes here, it would have been a nightmare to transport all of them because, you know, you can't put a shulker in a shulker. That's, you know, inception right there. So we have to avoid that. Um, that would have that would have been a big disaster. That would take a long time to go from here to the shopping district. So I'm just going to make as many chests as I can. I don't have much wood left, but hey, look at that. We only need just a little bit more. I might keep these for personal use, so I probably sell these and then these are my personal ones. Using my brain, my friends. Not something we do all the time, but we're doing it right now. And that's making the shulker boxes here. So this is one of the most satisfying things to do in Minecraft. And that is construct shulker boxes. And I've made a huge stack of them right here. And this is honestly how chess monsters are formed. This kind of disorganization, you're working on projects and you start throwing things around. That's how you start breeding them. You gotta be vigilant at all times. I love the shop at night. It just glows and you can see the jelly inside just consumed in all of the shulker boxes. So I've made a absolute ton of them and this is what we're going to be doing. I'm gonna put down some light. Well, that wasn't light and that, that really wasn't light. There's the light, the third time's the charm. All right, so we're going to just start stacking shulker boxes until this entire place is entirely full. <laughs> I'm like super, super excited about this. So when hermits want to purchase something, they come in and break the ones they need and pay for them. And you'll slowly defeat the chest monster and save Hermitcraft. <laughs> I can't get over jelly in that giant pile of shulker boxes. Absolutely love it. But I have some bad news. We didn't entirely fill this place up with shulker boxes as I intended. So I kind of went back to my original plan, how we would have ender chests, chests and barrels and things like that. Um, I didn't even come close to getting enough shulker boxes to fill this all up. Considering how many we had, that's kind of sad, but that's okay. So the idea is that the chests, the ender chests and the barrels are all free. And that's how we lure people in. And once they, you know, get an ender chest or a chest, they see these shulkers over here and they're like, Oh my, I could use a couple of those. And bam, we just made like 25 diamonds. They just harvested a bunch of them. So as I said before, the pricing structure for these are gonna be about five diamonds. We decided on stream last weekend that it would be 10. But I think that's too much. I want people to buy in volume. So we're gonna drop it to five. And then, like I said, all of these are free, kind of a little extra perk, but yeah. I think this came out pretty cool. The signage is all set up outside and we are ready to open the shop. The only problem is we haven't paid for the land yet. So we need to figure out how many blocks this thing occupies and then we're gonna figure out how we're gonna pay for it. So we're not gonna open the shop until we pay for it. I think that's only fair. So the interior, 
You know how we were originally going to do the chests, the ender chests, the barrels, and the shulkers. Then we were going to do the defeat the shulker design, but then it turned out we were way less shulkers than I thought to entirely fill this place up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start collecting more shulker boxes, and we're going to have a mini game called Defeat the Chest Monster. And if you get a high score or something like that, you win all the shulker boxes. I think that's going to be really fun. So we'll start brainstorming how that game is going to work. But for now, this is going to be an awesome place for Hermes to get storage and disorganization services. That's right. For a meager one diamond, I will go to your base and I will disorganize your chest. It is a service I provide and it is a service that people rely on. So let the other hermits know I can come to their base and disorganize their boxes. Seriously, I can't look at this thing without laughing with Shelly in that pile, but I realized we missed something in the design and something very crucial that I cannot believe that I forgot. And do you know what it is? Looking at the chest monster now, what is it that he is missing? Can you guess? It's his nose. That's right, every good Minecraft chest has these light gray noses on them and we forgot to put it on there. So we definitely still need to do that and that'll look super awesome. But for now, we got to head back to the Diamond Challenge Mine and actually pay for this thing. We're here at the Diamond Challenge Mine and I did some scar calculations. That's scar math, so most likely inaccurate. <laughs> we need to, oh, you, sir, are not allowed in the Diamond Challenge Mine. Your friend, the green one, Bob, here we're building inspector, already blew this up once. Anyway. We need exactly four diamond blocks for the shop itself, but we might need over 15 diamond blocks to buy up the entire mountain. So we have our work cut out for us. So in our next episode, I will reveal all the diamonds that we get out of the diamond challenge mine. And I think I'm gonna go right here. So. Until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. If you believe the videos are the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scared for life. And wish me luck. Well.